Hello friends and welcome back to Prison Architect. We are in what used to be called the Maximum Security Prison, but now it, it hasn't been that for a long, long time. We've now got normal security over here, causing all sorts of trouble. And you know what? Minimum security is on the way. They're going to be brought in. And uh, yeah, they're going to they're gonna help to make us a bit of money here. So I keep coming up, I, I keep seeing these drug things popping up and I just popped over to investigate to see where they were coming from but they don't seem to actually exist I can see that there's things that need to be investigated in here that's fine but there's no actual you know alright so I saw that there was poison here but no that's gone it's such a bizarre thing playing this game in third person mode in warden mode where you're rolling around like this, you got your stab vest, you got a pistol, all that sort of jazz. It's really cool, but geez, it's completely different. It really is a completely different gaming experience. It really changes the way that the game is played. Uh, and what you can see, and like, okay, great, there's booze up there. Can't, I don't know what's going on. I can't scroll up there to see it. I'll have to take your word for that game. Anyway, so we're busting through a shakedown. We're trying to figure out what these junky uh, chuckleheads have been up to. Thankfully, we are able to actually sell some shares in our prison, which is awesome. I now have 39,000 schmackaroonies, which means... Dude, figure this shit out. Oh, no. I don't have a fracking lawyer. Ah, oh, Gordon Bennett. It never ends. It never ends. All right. So I have to build a little cheeky uh, office, because all the offices here are already taken. Um, I suppose I could put, I could put the chief's office, like, just in here. Rooms. Office. Alright. Five by five. That's fine. What's this? Minimum size by four by four. And it needs all of the same shit. Okay. Alright, that's fine. We can do this. We can do this. It's, it's, you know, easy enough. Just have another desk here, and another chair here, and another filing cabinet. Alright, smack that there. Do that. And this, ah, that's fine. The chief can have a, a couch there. I mean, people, it's not really a totally used thing, but occasionally people will come and sit at that. So you, mate, come here. Uh, I tell you what, I'll make this easy for you. Rooms, not a room. Get out. You, come this way. Have you already figured it out? I think he has. Yep. Good. Okay, so this is now his office. Uh, there are no lights in this. There's no bloody lights in here. These guys are working in the dark. Poor bastards. Let's give you some lights. There you go, fellas. Okay. So that's got that sorted. So we can zip back up here. Back into here. And this room can become an office once more. Right. And then we can get staff. Lawyer. Boom. Okay. So 80s guy is doing his thing. He's researching small cells for us. Once those small cells have been researched, what we can do is we can come down to our new minimum security wing. Down in here. Okay, and these two cells at the moment, yeah, they're designated as a cell. They have a bed. They have a toilet. Right? They even have a shower. It's luxury. But, because of the fact that they're too small at the moment means that we can't use them to actually put people into. But when he finishes his research, oh yeah, you better believe we're going to use them. So, let's clone these suckers out. Two, three, four. I'm not going to do the bottom one because there's... Uh, yeah, it's fine. I'll, I'll just come back and fix it. Boop, -doop, doop, doop. How many of these can we get through? Down to 10,000. Uh, I better save some cash, actually, for the canteen. Because unless these guys have somewhere to eat, they're going to get stroppy very rapidly. So let's have a nice big canteen stretched across like this. Okay, and then objects. We're going to have to have some 
tables of serving. It's like a bag of holding, but uh, not quite. Uh, so I have some two. Two should be enough to start with. That should be fine. And then we're going to have one, two, three, four. And each of these benches seats four. So that's eight, sixteen, thirty-two prisoners. And I accounted before that there were going to be more than that. Um, hmm. How are we going to fit these in? Them in this way? Four, five, six. Yeah, that might do the trick. That might do the trick just nicely. So, uh, what have we got? 8, 16, 32. Uh, and that's probably enough for... Okay, I'll tell you what. That's enough for what we have right here. And then when we build the next wing down, we can build another canteen down there. That's fine. Or we can just extend this outwards and have the common room elsewhere. Doesn't matter. It'll work out. It's. I'm sure it'll all be fine. Uh, yeah, so be mindful when you're cloning things that uh, this can happen where you open up holes in your walls because of the uh, template that you're using. But um, in this case, I knew that was coming. I didn't really fuss about that. Uh, quick build. Let's keep cloning. Have a couple more of these and we'll just squeeze as many of these in as we can. Um, ooh, and we'll clone out a couple of these suckers as well. This, these should be, yeah, these are the cheapest chips. 380 bucks. Insufficient. Okay, so we've, we've done our dash. We have exceeded the maximum capacity of money that we have. Uh, so we're going to change our intake now and crank up MinSec as well. And then we'll probably just drop medium security. Now nah, we'll have them in. I don't expect many, many minimum security prisoners to be committing crimes that get them pushed up into shit. Well, that's a problem. Anyway, as I was saying, I don't expect many minimum security guys... Oh, God. ...to be murdering or assaulting people, and therefore they shouldn't need to, um, yeah, be pushed up into medium security, and as a result we don't need to worry about the capacity of medium se uh, security. So, a thousand dollars is how much one of these things costs, and I do not have a thousand dollars, so I'm going to quickly, um, go into here. Oh, no I do. Okay, decrease. I just got an early prisoner release. So one, two, get two of those. And we'll increase the priority on those because we need this done sharpish. Because this whole wing is currently without power. Sans power. And that's not where we want to be. Um, okay, guys, thank you. Good-o. Get ready to switch this back on. Good. Okay, we're green. We're golden. We're groovy. Uh, again, when we start getting... Oh my goodness me. It's a fracking horror show. Mm. Yes, indeedy. Things are starting to go a little bit pear-shaped in there. Anyway, it's fine. I'm, I'm sure it'll all work out. So, these cells have started to get duplicated out. This dining room, canteen, what have you, has been populated, and the kitchen here is good to go. Are there any cooks? There are two cooks. Excellent. Uh, what's wrong with this? Failed. Drink machine. Oh. Yeah, I need a drink machine in here, don't I? Do you know what? I'm going to pull out this table. I don't like it. It's too cramped. Uh, let's go with um, objects. Dismantle. And we'll just strip these out. And then... 
We need a $500 drinks machine, which we currently escape. -y. What? Where? How? How did they get out? Past the remote doors and everything. And past the sniper tower. What on earth? Do you know what? I would like to see a replay of that game. I'd like... I'll tell you what, Introversion. I know that you probably have never heard of me. Um, but I, I love your work. I really love what you guys have done. Um, I actually have been considering playing an updated version of uh, Uplink as well. But, uh, but here's the deal. When I hover over that and it just flicks my vision, is that the way that it normally is? I'll have to double check that against like a normal game. If that's the way that it normally is, maybe we could click that and have it do like an instant replay of what happened from like a rolling cam point of view. Just a suggestion. Because uh, at the moment, I have no idea. I just have to hope and pray that everything's fine. Alright, so... There's our drinks machine. All of this shit is not going to go anywhere at the moment because... You know what, I've just had a little bit of a realisation. We don't actually have a storage room anywhere. The storage... Storage is kind of handy because anything that's... You know, anything that's been delivered gets delivered to a delivery room. But then a storage room is where you just dump old crap that you don't particularly need at that particular point in time. And maybe you'll use it later on and all that sort of jazz. So let's, um... Let's see if we can just cheeky put one in here. How much money have we got? We got three grand. Have we got three grand's worth of... Oh my god, that'll be huge. Alright. Done. Make it so. Uh, we're going to need a door on that, which will need to be a staff door. And we're going to need to connect this to this door control servo. And apparently, it's one of the occasions where this needs power. Still don't quite understand how that works. Oh, and um, materials. Shit. We got a fence wall. Lovely. Alright. We'll wait for this to disappear and then we'll pop in an actual brick wall, which would be nice. Spiffy. Okay, and this can be a storage room. A dumping ground, if you will. So any old chairs and shit that we no longer need can now go and live in that room. Good. Okay. Alrighty, so that's the scale of that. We're still ticking on the edge of the cash side of things. This guy is doing well. Hey, when you hover over it, it tells you the percentage through that you are. Oh, I've not seen that before. That is quite handy. So we're 76% towards researching out small cells. There are no prisoners currently assigned to eat in this canteen, but that is to be expected because we don't have any prisoners in this block at the moment. Let's, um, let's see if we can add... No, okay, never mind. Um, so we can't do that. Let's check our deployment again. Min, min, min. That should actually be staff. These can all be min sec. And you know what? Let's get some parole hearings scheduled up right now. So that... Uh, one, two... How many are there? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there's going to be more. I'll just pump a couple of them in there. Oh, and uh, look, we've got the ability to clone out some more of these now. So we may as well get those in. Jolly good. Shit, there's no cleaning cupboard down here either. Oh, uh, well. How are we doing? 6 to 10 p.m.? So I just usually just keep mashing this button until... It looks like the scroll bar's not moving, which to me says we've got it going on. We'll wait until these extra new rooms come online. Okay. Yeah, so see the scroll bar's moving when I click and now it's stopped. Now we'll reschedule all, then we'll edit the schedule and we'll check parole min sec. Okay, scroll. Uh, what? Oh, there's min secs over here as well. Oh, they're all staggered all over the place. 
Okay, so that should do the trick. Just double check that deployment once more. Okay, good, right, that's fucked itself again. Thank you. We'll go back into programs and reschedule all programs and we'll check again and... Min, 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 min. Max, 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 medium, two of, and one more min. And then more mins. Okay, good. We are ready. Well. We're ready enough. This is a sufficient amount of stuff for minimum security dudes to be brought into this jail. Um, which means that when this ticks over... Oh, hello. 98%. We've got six prisoners arriving in five hours. Let's see about that, shall we? Because now we can do that. Boom, look at that. 22 minimum security prisoners in five hours' time. Four hours' time. Oh, God, what now? Oh, God, what now? A water pipe has burst and is flooding the area. Fix it before the damage becomes too severe. Run! Run, brave warden! Run across to somewhere in the prison where there is... Okay, it's uh, further over this way. Uh, okay, where is this broken pipe? Utilities? It's going to be a large one. There it is. There it is. It's all right. We'll get that fixed up. Get that spared up. All these dudes are probably... Hopefully they're not... Oh, well, this guy's noticed. Stoneman. He knows what's up. The rest of them... Most of them are asleep, so that's okay. They won't notice. But these guys will be horribly upset because their fracking prayer mats have all just been flooded. Ugh. It's just terrible. Thing I hate when that happens. Anyway. Okay. Crisis averted, I think. Has it been averted? I thought that was the one. That did seem to be the only, uh, the only pipe that received. Oh, there it is. Okay. Alright, we're good. So that's taken care of. Oh, God, I'm glad it wasn't another bloody fire. That's the last thing I needed. Anyway, so that's been taken care of, which means that we can come back down to here and we can see these new prisoners arriving. And we can watch minimum security start to come online. 23... what? 23 hours? Oh, okay. See, so, what? What happened to that intake that I just saw? Did that not occur? Well, that's a bit of a shit. I thought that was scheduled to go. Oh, there was a... Oh, there they are. Alright. Welcome aboard, fresh meat. Sweeney and Rogers and Stacy and Ross. Ross? The Pug Lord. Good on you, Ross. He is the Pug Lord, the one and only almighty lord of all pugs. Angels singing like pugs. He is the most amazing person you will ever see. He is the greatest, and you know it. Um, yeah. Well, with a description like that, I'm not surprised that he's been done for drunken, disorderly behavior. It sounds like he's just had one too many and gotten a little bit carried away with himself. Um, right. So, that's good. That now means that dudes are going to start filtering into here and uh, populating this end of the prison. We've gotten some extra cash up our sleeve from the intake then, so I think one, two, three, four, five, six guards additional should uh, help to keep things under control. Hopefully someone can keep that fracking door control uh, looked after so we can... Oh. Hmm. You know what? Power requirements in this side of the prison. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do this. Watch. I'm just gonna go like this. I said that I was originally going to make this a... Uh, um, a little power station. But you know what? I reckon that this can just be... A little cleaning cupboard. Just a wee babby one. Just enough. It only needs to be three by three, so this is this is quite a good size here. Um, and a parole is already starting to get underway, by the looks of it. Great. All these parole officers sitting here, waiting to rotate all of these Minsec guys back out to the world. And make me... Oh, great. 
Well, no one attended any of those, apparently, because they're still in the process of being brought into the prison. Never mind, then. I'm sure we can do it next time. Right, okay, cool. So, Minsec coming online. We could probably clone out a couple more of these cells. Like this. And then, actually, I'll just do like that. Um, there's my dog again. And then we'll do... Oh, I'm insufficient funds now. Okay. I think I might have... Ah, another fracking death. Oh, I'm, not I'm just not even going to pay attention. I'll come back to that later. Once I've got some money to actually be able to, you know, deal with the situation over there. Because at the moment, it's just... It gets frustrating when, when, when you don't have any money to be able to deal with a problem. And the problem just keeps occurring. And all you can do is just sit there and watch it happen and go, Yeah, I know. I know, it's awful. Oh, I can't afford any solitary doors. Okay, solitary cells are going to have to wait for the time being. Uh, these additional cells here are going to slowly come online and give us a little bit of extra capacity. Uh, but yeah. You know what? I'm happy with that. These guys are still not getting processed anywhere near fast enough. And I think that's because we just flat out don't have enough guards. Like, we're at zero of 50 at the moment. Maybe instead of building those extra cells, I sort of should have hired a few extra guards. Can you do us anything? Yeah, come on. Slowly start cycling some of these prisoners down into their cells so that they can have a poo, read a magazine, sleep in their bed, do whatever they want to do, and then in the morning they can come and get their, uh, their shitty breakfast. When I've got some more money, everyone can have nicer breakfasts. That's the deal here. Because at the moment, I have to set it to low and low so that I can afford to... Oh. A dead guy just went past on the back of a truck. Interesting. Um, what was I saying? Right. At the moment, I have to have, um, you know, the, the food quality and quantity set so fracking low that I'm sure, I'm sure that if any of these guys could talk, they would tell me it is just an unacceptable situation. Um, but that's, I mean, look, they're getting like mashed potatoes and spinach. Not exactly a fulfilling meal. Um, okay, so I can't build any more dudes at the moment. Um, I can, however, say that there needs to be a dude in here at all times. And in... In work time, in the kitchen, and the cupboard. And... Yeah, these parole rooms are going to be tricksy. We're going to have to figure that one out later. But, yeah, at the very least, send me some dudes to just come and look after things down here. Can you? Can you please? That'd be real nice. Because these dudes have been standing here for some time now. And they need to go and do a wee. Okay. Alright, so there's another 12 minsecs coming in in 10 hours. Um, which should give us a little bit more. Hey! We've got a meal going on as well. Excellent. And we've even got... Um, James Gulledge. Uh, yeah. You don't, you don't look like James Gulledge. You look like, uh... What's his name? The porn actor? Ron? I can't remember. I can't remember his name. I'm not really huge into watching porn, but, you know. That's fine. Whatever fletch you got. Alright, cool. So, that's underway. Hopefully these parole hearings should kick off tomorrow morning. Uh, and we should start to see... So, where are our... Where's our schedule at the moment? Yeah. Alright, so at 6am tomorrow morning, we should start to see those parole rooms in this side of the prison being populated. And hopefully, we should start to see some prisoners getting paroled, and we should start to see some money coming in. Making the big ones. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, anyway. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today. And, uh, I'll see you next time.